I'm Dom Tesserero and this is Birmingham, Alabama. I've never been here before, but I'm gonna check out this dining scene and by the smell of things in the air, smoke. We're gonna get some barbecue today. Let's go get them. I'm Dom Tesserero and I have an appetite for adventure. I've traveled and cooked all over the world, but now we're gonna do that right in my backyard. America, baby. I wanna eat everything, see everything, and learn as much as I can. I wanna find out what makes these cities tick through the food culture. Right now, we're going to meet Bob Carlton. He's the guy with the scoop on where to get the most delicious things to eat in Birmingham, Alabama. I'm in uncharted territory right now. The Yankee in the Deep South. Think they're gonna notice my accent? So tell me a little bit about Birmingham, the emerging food scene. Oh, it's exploded. Birmingham is home to three James Beard award-winning chefs, two James Beard award-winning restaurants. We're gonna go to meet one of the chefs, Frank Stitt. We're gonna meet Frank Stitt, and he's got one of the best Italian restaurants in the country right here in Birmingham. Frank has really raised the bar here in Birmingham. We like to call him the godfather here. I'm gonna make him an offer he can't refuse. So what do you say we walk over there and check it out? Let's go meet him. All right. Frank, nice to meet you, Dom Tesserero. Hey, Dom, nice to meet you. This is the Alta Cucina exactly. of exactly. You know, your restaurants. And just by looking at some of the plates, it's almost like you're picking this stuff out of your own garden. Well, in some ways we are. So, so this right here is uh, jumbo asparagus. It's some fresh farm eggs and a crawfish aioli with little pea shoots and fresh chive blossoms. It's beautiful. This is a royal red and sweet pea bruschetta. And then we have a, a pizza with some homemade ricotta, preserved lemons, and little Calabrian chilies. Welcome to Birmingham. May I pour you a little wine? Please. Salute. Welcome. This pizza is incredible. Lemon, ricotta, the spice from the chilies is very upfront. This is true Neapolitan pizza with the poofy burnt crust on the outside. I don't think a pizza's right unless you've got a little bit of burn mm -hmm. on the side. I could eat that every day. Mm -hmm. And I just might if I lived in Birmingham, Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> I know you don't get that much crawfish up in the Northeast, but now's the time for crawfish. Everything just works together on the plate. The asparagus is perfectly cooked. It's got a nice little bit of char. Mm -hmm. The crawfish is perfect has a sweetness to it, the richness of the mayonnaise, a nice little bit of acidity, and then a little bitterness from those greens on top. And a little bit of chili and just lemon, and it's about Frank, it. Frank, you speak my language, not to quote Richard Simmons, but I want to feel the burn a little bit, and uh, I like the heat. Last year, Frank and his team here at Howland's Bar and Grill won the James Beard Award for the most outstanding restaurant in America. Congratulations. And it was really a celebratory moment for all of Birmingham. I mean, it was almost like we won the Super Bowl. Well, it's amazing. It's not just us, but it was like Alabama winning the national championship. I mean, there was a sense of celebration by everybody. It's obviously a well-deserved award, and this is some of the best Italian food I've ever had, and I would have never expected to have it in Birmingham, Alabama. What you're doing here, incorporating Italian sensibility with southern ingredients. It's very Italian in a southern way, and I love that. Well said. Here, here. Here, here. Frank, as a chef and a restaurateur, is special. I'm really happy that I got the opportunity to come here. We are leaving Bottega now, and this is the South. This is why we're here. It's barbecue time. We're coming to one of the citadels of Alabama barbecue right here. Bob and Maxine Sykes actually started this business in 1957. Jeez. Van Sykes is their son. Van started working with Hitch when he was nine years old. Nine years old, so we're going to get the real deal right now. It's going to be a great experience for you because you won't get this back home in Staten Island. I don't think I can get this back home in Staten Island, but I can't wait to get inside. This is real Southern culture, I suppose, right here, about as good as it gets. It's really fascinating in a it way, is. because it's, it's, it's it certainly is. been around over a hundred and something years, this kind of cooking. It's an art. I agree with that. Since I'm going to have you on my pit crew, I've got you an apron Oh, here. man. Go ahead and slip that out. Or like they say, fill that out. Come on back and we'll yeah. show you where I start. This is going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, come on. 
So Van, tell me a little bit about what you're doing here. I have to have fat, and I have to have skin, and of course we all know the bone is flavor. Sure. So I got kosher salt, sure. coarse ground. You know, my daddy was a country boy. He learned to do all this. You're getting in there. Oh, it's almost yeah. like a massage. You got to love on you the pig a little bit. Let's see if you can do the massage here on this pig. I mean, listen. If I was a piece of pig, this is how I would want to be treated. If we were at junior college and you were taking the Messiah, we got, <laughs> we got a happy pig here, too, from what I can tell. I'm feeling it deep in my plums, but this puppy's going in the pit. To the pit we go. I feel like I have big shoes to fill today to come in here and try and work the barbecue pit with no experience. Am I going to be able to do this or not? I have no idea. So what I usually do is just take this first, and I'm just going to put him over there. And then you do the same thing. I would say that somebody that wasn't from Staten Island or Alabama listening to this conversation might have a hard time following. Bob was telling me before he was going to teach me to say y'all, but I was going to say, I'm going to teach you how to say yous. Yous. <laughs> I like it. Yous, guys. Van's accent is barbecue. It's slow and low. And my accent is like a New York City street card, fast and on the go. Good job. You saved the skin. That's good. That's hard to do. Hold on. There we go. See this caramel looking color? Mm -hmm. That tells me that we've had good temperature control. That's the magic of salt, smoke, wood. Experience. <laughs> this is all second nature to man. He's been doing this his whole life. Watching this guy work is art. Now, when I was a kid, this is what Daddy said was your reward. For all those hours. Dad, I don't really it's just perfect. So now, I think what we should do is probably make a good barbecue sandwich, and then we'll see what's been going on for 62 years. Ha! I think it's a great idea. That's Daddy's barbecue sauce. I like that. He labored long and hard. Here was the theory. I don't want this to destroy all of this That's labor. That's what you just did, so. I want it to work and enhance it. Van's explaining to me about how to make the sandwiches, but all I want to do is eat it. To get in the soft, inside meat, and then the chopped up flavor of the outside meat. You go ahead and make this next one. Uh, we give a good portion, so. So don't be stingy. Yeah, put some meat on there now. We're in the south. You make a nice sandwich. All right, now, that is on the Alabama 100 things to eat before you die. So I, I guess we should probably go eat them. 100 things to eat before you die. This sandwich, like, I can't wait. Incredible spread here, obviously. Thank you. Tell us what we're working with. All right, we have the iconic barbecue sandwich. Let's go get him. Oh, yeah. Smoky, sweet, tangy, perfect. I'm never going to keep this girlish figure. <laughs> this is coleslaw with a different kind of vinegar, a tarragon vinegar with a tarragon weed in it. Really? Tarragon's delicious. This is my green vegetable, I guess. Green vegetable, you hear that? You're not going to believe how good that is. I believe how good it is already. Wow. <laughs> that is decadent. This will sell four, 500 pieces a day. That's cream cheese ice. Well, of course it is. Oh, my goodness. Somehow, if I have that, I have to have a cup of coffee. I don't know what it is. Or, or the rest of my sweet tea. tea. <laughs> We're in a sugar coma. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I really can't thank you enough for the hospitality and for the knowledge you've imparted on me today. Maybe we can open up a barbecue food truck together one of these days. Yeah, I kind of like that. I like that great. idea a whole lot. Good talent, I can tell. Listen, You're a natural. It's easy when you got the materials, my friend, but <laughs> thank you very much for all hey, the hospitality. Brother, thank you, dog. So I'm in a total food coma right now. Birmingham has been amazing. I had some of the best Italian food I've ever had in my life. Obviously some of the best barbecue. I'm on my way to becoming a professional pit master. And the Southern hospitality has truly lived up to its name. I'd love to stay, but the road is calling my name.